lesson, we conclude our mini study of Robert Johnson's style of blues playing by working through the last four bars of the first verse of Crossroads. As the underlying chord changes to the fifth, F seventh in this case, we play this lick. So we've got the top three strings here at fret 10, barred with my first finger. Uh, not using the slide uh, on this lick at all, so just third finger up here at fret 13. We've got micro bend, just a slight bend, and we're plucking all three strings, and then that finger off. Four hits on the barred um, top three strings there, so that's and then we add that little bend back in again, and then off again. So all together that's in slow motion. Here's the tab to help you practice that. That's actually one of the easier bits to, to play in this tune, but the tricky thing is we have to follow it immediately with this little slide on the bottom string. And then get the slide up here to the 15th fret to play the next bit. So immediately after this lick, We need to slide down here at about fret 10, sliding into fret 12 on the bottom string. And then we play the fifth string open. So that's... We're in slow motion. And then we immediately grab this note up here with the slide, 2nd string, 15th fret, to lead us into the next bar. I found that quite a hard transition, so I advise spending a bit of time practicing that bit. I think he just uses a stationary slide at fret 15 for the next bit. So after that initial hit on the second string, it's the top two played together three in a row, uh, and then one more. So that's. Then it's second, third, and fourth strings, probably played with an upstroke of the fingertip, and then the bottom three strings similarly, all with the. Um, Slide carefully placed right on that fret there. Sorry. And the trick here is to hear that that is uh, rhythmically an echo of the first phrase. So remember this. Well, this is. Da 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 da. But of course you've got this little in between. Here's the tab. Next we have one of those little fillers that are just played on the open strings, which just gives us a little bit of time to get the left hand queued up for the next phrase. So as you're playing that very quick flourish down, up, down on the middle sort of three strings really, your fretting hand moves down so that your third finger is at the um, fret 11 on the second string. Then it's into a phrase that's very similar to the one we ended the last lesson with. <laughs> 
So the only difference really is the ending. Instead of going, it goes with the finger staying where it is and another little doubling of the movement of the right hand. Um, so again, this is simplest just to pick off, uh, pick up off the tab. Um, just try and hear that rhythm. Okay, well that's all I'm going to do on that song because I think if you've managed to work your way through the detail of that intro and first verse, you'll have little trouble picking the rest up by ear off the original recording. If you found these lessons a bit of a struggle, do give yourself a break. Much better guitarists than I'll ever be have dedicated their whole careers to studying this style of playing. It's deceptively difficult to play. Robert Johnson was truly one of a kind. When you think that he died almost 80 years ago now, his influence has been probably the most far-reaching of any guitar player ever. So for those of you who have followed these four lessons really well and put the work in to, to learn this, let's finish off with playing through that intro and first verse together. But please don't expect me to sing it at the same time. One, two, three, four. video interesting please click on the like button if there is one or leave a comment and do feel free to share the video with your friends and if you'd like to gain full access to all our guitar teaching materials please visit the secret guitar teacher site and take a free look round at what's available there see you again soon mm -hmm.